In this video, we'll be having a look at a proof that the angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent. Before we have a look at the solution, if you like, you can pause the video and have a go at the problem yourself before having a look at the solution. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the solution. <clears throat> so you have this triangle ABC over here and have these angle bisectors going from A, B, and C, where we have equal angles, alphas, betas, and gammas. And we need to prove that they intersect at one point over here. So what I'll do is I'll make the angle bisectors from A and B meet at the point I. So we have the angle bisector from A making two equal angles alpha, and the angle bisector B making two equal angles beta. What I'll prove is that the angle bisector from C will also pass through the point I. Now I'll make D, E, and F the feet of the perpendiculars from I to the sides B, C, C, A, and A, B respectively. So we have D here, E here, and F here, which are the feet of the perpendiculars. And now we'll have a look at some congruent triangles. So if you look at triangles IBD and IFB, we see in these two triangles over here, we see that IB, side IB or BI is common. We also have two 90 degree angles, IDB and IFB. And we also have two equal angles beta over here. This gives us triangle IBD is congruent to triangle IBF using AAS congruence. So this gives us that ID and IF must be equal sides. We have ID and IF are equal. And now we also look at triangle AEI and AFI. In triangle AEI and AFI, we have that AI is common to both triangles. So these two triangles. So AI is common angles AEI and AFI are 90 degrees and also we have two equal angles alpha. This gives us that AEI and AFI are also congruent by AAS similarity. And this means that IE and IF are equal. So IF IF is here and we also have IE is equal. In fact, this gives us that IE, ID, and IF are all equal. So we have ID equals IE equals IF. Now we have this diagram below. Now we use one final pair of congruent triangles. So we see that if you look at these two triangles over here, we see that ID and IE are the same. IC is common and IDC and IEC are 90 degree angles. This means that ICD and ICE are congruent triangles. And this finally gives us that these two angles must be equal from the congruent triangles. So we have, must have two gammas over here. This gives us that CI is the internal angle bisector of the angle ACB. And this finally proves that the angle bisectors of the triangle are concurrent at the point I. This completes the proof. Also have a side note over here. So the point I, the intersection of the angle bisectors is called the in center of the triangle ABC. It's also the center of the circle that is contained in ABC and is tangent to each of the sides at D, E, and F. So since we have, since we dropped these perpendiculars from I to D, E, and F, and remember that from before we had, we had I, D equals I, E equals I, F. And this allows us to draw a circle with center I and passing through D, E, and F, and ninth degree angles also give us that they are, the circle is tangent to each of the sides and the circle is called the in circle.
the in circle of triangle ABC. Okay, so that's just about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.